Is your partner Mexican? No, she's Filipina. Okay, how is that? It's fun. I mean, Filipinos and like uh, Latinos are pretty much like the same. Because uh, I mean, the Spanish, they conquered us. And a lot of the words are actually similar. Uh, comadre is comadre. Oh, okay. Chismoso, chismoso. Um, I, I, that's all I know. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the zoo. Guys, we have an amazing show for you today. We got a pretty hot panel. We got AK. What's up? We got Morton. And today we're going to be talking about, you know, cultural, cross-cultural relationships. And that is today's Big, Big deal. deal. All right. Now, let's talk relationships, friendships, boyfriends, girlfriends, maybe your dog, whoever it is. Martin, have you been in a lot of relationships? Yeah, <laughs> I, I have. I can tell you're a heartbreaker. I get that vibe from you. Have you broken some hearts? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I've gotten my heart broken too a couple of times, mm -hmm. so yeah. So. Still so, not. No, <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, what, what is your approach when dating across cultures? Like, is it something, do you, do you try to date outside your culture? Is it a pro or con? How do you feel about it? I do it for comedy, bro. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's like the jokes. No, I man, just like, it ha I don't know, it just happens naturally, you know? But like, also, like, I, I, we're talking about even like, uh, like in Latinos, like, I remember like, like for some reason, I remember like, because uh, I'm Mexican, and I remember like, I, like a long time ago, I, when I dated like, a Salvadorian girl, and it was just like, my mom was like, it's so different. I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, we're all Latinos, but it's just like, I feel that's like a like a mindset that Latinos have. We're just like, oh, like I don't know, or maybe it's like LA thing because you'll see like a Valley girl, like I don't know, like <laughs> he, he's from the West Side, like we're so different, like what? <laughs> yeah. Right, south of the ten or whatever. Yeah, like, yeah. Right? <laughs> but you know, I, and I talked about this. I remember I was telling somebody, you lived, like if lived was around when I was in high school, it would have saved so many friendships and relationships because I. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I remember I, I was dating right. a girl, right? Cause I lived like in like uh, uh like in the San Gabriel Valley, and then this girl moved to like Maywood, was which is only like six miles away, and I was like, it's over, that's yeah. it. <laughs> it's too far. It, it's far, you know. <laughs> or I remember like I had friends that moved away like ten miles away. I'm like, I'm never gonna see them again. It's over. But if Liv was around back then, like I don't know, Liv is a game changer. I don't know. You'd be even more popular. Yeah, you know, right? like, you'd be breaking even more hearts. <laughs> you'd be breaking, yeah. even, <laughs> and maybe getting a few, uh, your heart broken again too in a few more ways. Now, how about you, AK? Um, dating wise, I have tended to date more Latinos mm -hmm. than anything other than that, just because I feel like Spanish with me uh, is really important. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. Like sometimes I'm like, I need to get better in my Spanish, so I'll focus on Spanish and I'll start forgetting English. Oh yeah. Like, what's that? You know, what's that big word that I wanted to use? And they'll be like, okay, I need to read in English, and then I'll forget my things in Spanish. I can't do both. You know yeah, what I mean? <laughs> I, mean I, I can't multitask. I think it's exciting to always date somebody outside of your culture because yeah. I like to learn things. That's very you know true. what I mean? Mm -hmm. And to learn about other people's cultures, you know, it's always exciting, not even just relationship wise, like in friends too. Like I want to learn something, you know, Definitely. you got to come out of your box and, yeah. and open up your mind to, I mean, there's a whole world out there. You know I, what I mean? Yeah, I will say um, in college, I was talking to someone that was French. Um, and then most recently, someone that was Puerto Rican. And yeah. so the big culture shock there was how I love to listen to banda, which is a type of like regional music. And this is the thing, this is what I liked about both of them. They were down to learn. They're like, oh yeah, teach me about it. Oh yeah, let's do it. Like, so I was like, that's, that's what it takes. That's the energy that you want when dealing with like cross-cultural like open relationships, minded, right? Yeah. Just open to like trying new things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's funny when say people have, I, I, I was dating a, a news reporter in, in Sweden. Oh. And, and oh yeah, and I fell on him actually because I'm a little clumsy and I just remember him going, ow, my, my knee, I have a virus. And I said, excuse me, <laughs> what do you mean? But that's how they say injury. Oh, wow. I have Sweet. a virus. Yeah, I know. I was it, like, what the urgent care is going on. Yeah. I was, well, they get free health care. So <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> right. Make it all the virus. I was like, let's get a plane and get you checked out. Yeah, right. I got in a car accident, I got a virus. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. I'm like, I, I don't think it's the same one. Aww. I mean, I, what, what like, friendships do you have in your life? Like, I feel like I'd like to have more relationships with people in, like, Asian cultures. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like I totally, I'm always fascinated by, you know, the style and the fashion, and I want to have more relationships like that in my life, so. I just want more friends. <laughs> yeah, just in general. <laughs> but, but, you know, friends, that I feel like the best type of friends that open you up to experiences like different types of shows and art galleries. I feel Definitely. like it's so, it keeps things fresh. Definitely. Yeah. I was going to say, even in Latinidad. Um, Latinidad. Latinidad. We were, uh, I was talking to my friends. 
I as a Mexican don't know about all the Latin cultures, right? And maybe like Salvadorans don't know about all the other. I tried Peruvian ceviche for the first time, <gasps> I think was last year. Have you ever had Peruvian ceviche? I've had regular ceviche, but not Peruvian. Okay. What, what's the difference? It, the way it's like prepared, I guess. Okay. Um, and like there's bigger chunks of fish in Peruvian ceviche. Yeah. It was so good. Really? I was like, I can't believe I have never heard of this, you know? So that, I think for me, the gastronomy is always what pulls me into different cultures. Yeah. Uh, Cause I love to try new things. And I was like, I might just need to go to Peru. Cause it was bomb. You need to try it. Yeah. I had, I think I had, a, I was in Miami a couple weeks ago and I had Cuban ceviche. Cuban ceviche. Caribbean ceviche. I don't need to back me up on this, but it was, <laughs> it, instead of tostada, it was like a, 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 a fried uh, platano. It was like, I was like, what? It was, it was, yeah. Potassium and omegas. <laughs> that was good, yeah. Um, my best friend is Ecuadorian, uh, so I like to pick up on things that she says. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then one of my other friends from college was Salvadorian, and I, I, yeah, I like to pick up on things that people say, right? But I remember when I became friends with them, I started cursing a lot more. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, maybe that's something I shouldn't pick up from my yeah. friends. <laughs> yeah, I want to absorb the good qualities. The good part. Not exactly. But yeah. I feel cool when I, I learn, like, the lingos. I feel yeah. like I'm, in, like, in. I feel like I have a little insight into wh what's cool and hip in different cultures. Definitely. Which is always exciting because you want to learn. That's well, you have, uh, is your partner Mexican? No, she's Filipina. Okay, how is that? It's fun. I mean, Filipinos and, like, uh, Latinos are pretty much, like, the same. Because, uh, I mean, the Spanish, they conquered us. And a lot of the words are actually similar. Uh, comadres, comadre. Oh, okay. Chismoso, chismoso. Um, like that's all I know. Okay. <laughs> no, but like a lot of the food's like almost similar too. Like it, it's pretty similar, but uh, it's different at the same time. But uh, it's cool just learning different things. And also like uh, where, I mean, LA where I grew up, just like I grew up in the San Gabriel Valley. I was born in East LA, San Gabriel Valley, and a lot of like Vietnamese, a lot of uh, Chinese. So it's mm. like I feel like here in LA, you just like you just run into like different kind of cultures, you know. Definitely. I like it, yeah. I yeah. love it. It's all, it's all about, and I love the food, just because oh I'm an emotional gosh. eater. So if you, I'll send you my address. Send me the, the, your favorite food from your <laughs> culture, and I'll eat it, and I'm not going to leave a crumb either. <laughs> well, listen, cultural can also be like environment, right? It's so totally. kind of when you have like the East Coast versus West Coast culture yeah. clashes. Yeah. Tell <laughs> us about that, Nikki. <laughs> I mean, East Coast, well, one of our guests uh, that we had on a previous show was saying the fashion. He was like, people right. on the East Coast don't really wear colors. colors and right. I never really thought about that. Now I'm thinking about it. I'm like, you know, I, when I'm in, on the East Coast, I do dress like I'm going to a funeral. And I don't know, <laughs> I don't so you know don't why. Wear you don't dress not the same way. Not intentionally. No, I guess not intentionally, but I guess I'm more affluent to colors. You adapt to Interesting. the style. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. right. Okay. Well, I know that when I go back to Mexico, I don't wear my nice clothes because I don't want to get jumped. <laughs> <laughs> you, know <what> I mean? <laughs> you were saying that the, that the jeans you wear with the oh, holes yeah, in it. Oh, yeah. I was. Yeah. So here, you know, jeans with like cuts and stuff are in style. But in Mexico, if your jeans have cuts, it's because you've been working hard on the ranch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Keep it locked on the zoo. We're going to be right back. Martin uh, attended his first press junket and it went great. And I can't wait to hear all about it. So keep it locked on the zoo. We'll be right back.